All right, I'm going to show you how to do this, okay, to make it a little bit easier. So, on this side right here, I'll zoom into the window here. See how we always click stamps and it takes us to this screen, right? Okay? If you go to scroll down on this side, see how it's red here indicating that we're on this screen. If you go down and select packages, it'll take you to this, once it loads all the way, this goofy weird screen. All right? This stuff here, you don't touch at all, okay? Basically, it's exactly the same. It's just that up here, you're telling it, right here you're telling it who it's coming from and this is who it's going to. And that'll actually print it out on the label, so you'll need to put the person's address in there. Here you can select, just like you normally would, you select who, what kind of packaging it is. So let's just say it's an envelope. That's a plus one, okay? Right there, we just change the weight. And we'll select media mail, okay? Right now, it shows as a, here, I'll clear that. It shows that it's a media mail, it's 298. And uh, once you have a person's address up here, it'll show a total down here. It doesn't show a total now because it doesn't know where it's going. But basically, let's say you have a person with a plus one that wants a delivery confirmation. It's fairly easy. All you do is make sure, of course, you have this filled in. And you see right here where it says uh, E confirm. You drop, you click here, click here on the little down arrow, and select delivery confirmation where it says 19 cents. Okay, and you'll see a 19 there, and of course you'll it'll it'll say uh, 298 plus 19, and then the total will be here. And then all you'll need to do is click print postage here, and then it'll print over here at the printer, and you'll have a label. Let's see, I made this for you. The label will come out just like this, so minus the X. The X is just so people know it's not a real label. Okay? And when you cut this, make sure you leave an edge on this side, on all the sides of this, so that you can put tape here, here, and here, because they don't want tape on any of the barcodes at all. Okay? And that's fairly simple. And I'm going to try and experiment to see if the uh, first class actually has a uh, tracking label put on you know the small labels because usually on these small labels it has a little number here so but okay let's say we're gonna do here I'll do one more example for you let's say oh, we're gonna go to packages let's say we we, uh, we have a priority or a first class priority and first class you do it the same way pretty much except for first class you don't need to select the envelope you just have it like this so let's see First, you know, let's do first class, okay? We're going to do a five ounce first class. All right, and you click here. And so I've got all my stuff selected just like you would before. You put their address up here, which is new, but that's pretty easy. You just put it up there. And then you do this drop arrow here and select delivery confirmation. And you'll notice that it says free because it's included in the price for first class. Okay, and let's say we, and then you know it'll show the totals actually down here, and then you can just hit print. Okay, let's say you got a priority. So priority, let's say we use a padded one. Okay, so you got the price there. Well, you select priority, and you, your weight's not really important, but it, once it, it'll it'll show the total down here. But you'll notice that your selected on delivery confirmation is free still. So just it's free. You you don't need to do anything, and then you just hit print, and you're good to go. And, um, of course, the total will show up once you actually have the person's information added in up here. So it's just pretty much as simple as that. One thing you want to keep in mind is if you hit print, you may have a time where it says, um, it'll come up with a window that'll say, hey, you, you want to make sure the address is correct and this is a deliverable address. You can just hit OK and it'll say, OK, you weren't able to add it to your address book, which it wants you to add it to an address book, which up here is like an address book where, let's see, it's it's already added a couple. It's it's not important at all, but if it asks you, just say cancel or OK or whatever, and, and it shouldn't do anything, and then it'll come up with a, that little screen. It'll say print, and then you hit print, and it'll send it to the printer. All right, and it's as easy as that, and I'll see if I can make it easier. These instructions here should be able to help you out, though, okay? All right.